So today we're going to talk analog versus digital detectors. Most people, when you think of analog, think of knobs, um, potentiometers, pots. When you think of digital, usually they're rubber buttons, um, buttons anyhow, menus, um, digital readout, that kind of thing. And so most people in the metal detecting community are, are aware and use digital detectors. And most people, very few people anymore, it's less and less are familiar with analog detectors. So I wanted to talk about this because it's kind of a, a, a an important thing to me. I, I don't know if that's the right way to put it. Um, I'm trying to think of the words. It's, I guess it amazes me all the time I have on detectors and, and analog and di between analog and digital and that when I'm hunting in farm fields in Ohio, Midwest, um, where there's little to no modern trash and iron is the hardest part of it. Getting through the iron is, is the obstacle. I have found time and time again, analog detectors are better. Um, I've used analog detectors. Tesoro is a big one. Tesoro is my number one. I've got a C-Scope 6MXI. That's another one. When you're thinking of analog, um, you know, those come to mind. Tesoro was the big analog company in the United States. They're now out of business, went out of business a year or so ago. But people dismiss them. They're old technology, right? It's old technology. Tesoros look like kids' toys. They do. I'll tell you, the first time I ever saw one, it almost made me laugh. But when you're working in heavy iron, I've never found anything that works better. Um, I've, I've either have or I've used the latest and greatest detectors. I've hunted up against people, compared targets. Um, look, I, it's not that if, if I thought something was better, if I found something that was better, I'd use it. I'd love to have a digital readout and see, at least have an idea of what I'm, what I'm going to dig up. Where with analog, you don't get that. You don't have any kind of readout. The Tesoros I use are single tone. You disc, you disc out iron and you run it. You dig everything that's not iron. Now at those sites, that's how you want to do it because it's little buttons. It's, it's relics. And rarely will you find any trash in those unless it's up by the road and you need to dig it anyhow. So, but I would rather use a digital detector. It'd be nice to have that readout. It'd be nice to be able to hear some different tones that, that alert, get alerted to different, different tones instead of a single tone. But time and time again, and I am not in any way putting down the digital detectors. I love digital detectors. I own several. Um, so I'm not putting down digital detectors, but what I'm saying is, Analog detectors for me work better <coughs> relic hunting than anything else I've used. Um, I was in Ohio for two and a half months, did a lot of relic hunting this past fall in the farm fields. And Tesoro, time and time again, <coughs> just excuse me, time and time again up against other detectors was was the clear winner. Uh, I've got a Rudis Alder 71, one of my favorite detectors. It's from Poland. Lightning fast and just an incredible detector. And one of my favorite digital detectors in the farm fields. Uh, the analog was a clear winner. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, ORX. I uh, had some friends come up from Northeast Ohio, come down from Northeast Ohio to do some relic hunting with me. He was running an ORX. His wife was running a, a Garrett 400. She was having trouble with it. I said, here, use my little $200 uh, Mojave, Tesoro Mojave. And she was walking 
east, he was walking north, and she come right up behind him and got a really good signal. Completely repeatable, swinging over it each time it beeped. And he turned around. I mean, he was, she was literally on his heels. And he said, that's iron. I just went over it. And I was close enough. I heard the conversation. And I said, no, that there's something there. And it turned out to be a flat button. Um, they just work better in the iron, in my experience. I, I've used a lot of different detectors, um, a ton of different detectors, and I just haven't found anything that works better. But nobody gives them a chance. I, I, I talk to these relic hunters, these people in the Midwest who are hunting the farm fields, and they they see the Tesoros, they look like a toy. They They don't have a digital readout. If you are a relic hunter, farm fields especially in the midwest where there's not a lot of a lot of new new trash it's get you to sorrow find you a good use to sorrow i i turned one buddy on to to sorrows he he'd ran digital detectors he, he relic hunts 99 percent of the time and i said find you a cheap to sorrow the four i like the five pin ones uh even going old really old the five pin uh, my Tesoro Outlaw and my Mojave are five pin detectors. That means the coil uh, takes five pins instead of four. And I've just had really good luck with any of the five pin detectors, Tesoros. And I turned him on to it, and it, although it took him a little bit of time to get used to it, he went back to a site that him and a friend had just hit over and over and over again and went out there again and found like a large scent, a handful of buttons, all this stuff. He couldn't believe it. And his friend had gone with him that he hunts with. And he had found like one one button, if I remember correctly, where my buddy had found a handful more relics and a large scent. And they just, they, they pick out the good targets in the iron better than I've seen any digital detector able to do. Uh, these people up in the northeast hunting these um old foundations and stuff back in the woods they're not running into a lot of trash if it were i i would be hunting a t with a tesoro um any of the farm fields where old house sites were you know gone a hundred years tesoros that's what i use i'm here in texas and although i've been using digital because i've been testing some um and trying out some different detectors We've been hunting a lot of sites that are no modern trash. It's all relics. Uh, you know, they've been gone 100, 100 plus years. And I have used my Tesoro, not as much as I would, because I have been testing, but I do better with the Tesoros. Uh, time and time again, and when I, when I go out with these people that are running Mine Labs and uh, XP Deuses, XP ORX, um, Garrett's all these look I'm not putting them down I own them all almost all those um and love them I I they just don't work as good and in, in heavy iron and I've seen it time and time again I have hundreds of hours in the farm fields and I used to hunt with digital and the first time I tried it to Soro I didn't even know if I could do it like there's no screen there's no with single tone it looks like a, a it looks like a kid's toy from the 70s is what it looks like but I'm telling you give it give it a, a try even an older Tesoro uh, my friend that I was that I just mentioned he now has three Tesoros and that's what he hunts with in the fields it's all he hunts with in the fields and he's had great success the guys he's hunting with can't believe it but what I'm saying is you can, if you're new to the hobby and you want to do that, if you live in Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, even any of these places where you're going to mostly be hunting, uh, where there's heavy iron and not much modern trash, go, if you're wanting to get in the hobby, go get you a $200 to sort them. Actually, you can find them $75 used, older ones. But they'll get the job done just as good as is mine. He's my my friend. I, I forget what he bought. I think we looked it up and they were built in like the 80s. The, the detector was made in the 80s. It's really no different than my outlaw. And his finds show that. 
incredible finds all the time with his Tesoro. But, uh, you know, I tell people, I, I get people that, that want to get into the hobby. They live in the Midwest and they want to get into the old places. They want to field hunt. And it's like, buy you a Tesoro. Find you a cheap uh, used Tesoro. Of course, they're all pretty much all used now. I don't know if you can get new ones still, if any of the uh, dealers. I'm sure you could find some, some old stock. But, um, you know, getting into the hobby for $75, and not only that, you've got the best technology for the heavy iron. That's cheap. An easy way to get into the hobby. So I just want to put that out there. I, I think so many people just overlook it, won't take it serious. And that's fine. Use your digital. But I'm telling you, my experience of hundreds and hundreds of hours I, I take Tesoros in the field. 99% of the time, that's what I'm using when I'm field hunting. When I'm hunting, where where an old house used to be, it's been gone 100 plus years, and it's overloaded with iron. The Tesoros get through it better. Actually, the analogs, and not all analogs are great. The 6MXI is great. It's uh, The C-Scope is uh, made in England. You got to buy them out of England. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful wonderful detector but tesoros are readily available still that you can find them used i think there is some there there's probably some new old stock um and and they're still easy to obtain so that's why i keep mentioning the tesoros but they're just incredible give it a try i tell people this all the time these guys and i know that that's what they do 99 percent of the time you know in my opinion, have a digital and have an analog. Run them both over the same site if you can get back there, you know, if you got permission to go back. Um, but you're going to find the Tesoro, the 5 pin, they're incredible. Uh, and there's other analog detectors. I'm not going to get into that right now. You can do some research or check it out yourself. But those are still readily available and they work. They work really, they're simple, very simple. Somebody new to the hobby they could learn learn my mojave for example doesn't even ground balance <clears throat> they could learn that and, and be off hunting in minutes and uh it's just amazing one of my first experiences with the tesoro was a lady who'd never metal detected a friend of mine we uh got together and um she didn't know how to i, I what it actually was i sold her husband a new detector they had a bunch of farmland. They told me to come up and hunt. I overlaid it. They had like three house sites on in their on their farmland that were tore down before like 1900. So his wife come out with us. My buddy had a Tesoro. The oh, I'm trying to think the cheapest one, the $160 Tesoro. And I watched him hand that to her. And, and explain it real quick and I followed close I wanted to see how it would do and within probably less than a half an hour she found an Indian head and a couple flat buttons that thing ran really quiet in the iron it really latched on to the target so that was like my first one of my first experiences and I was just blown away at that little $160 detector I noticed was handling the iron better than my $1,500 digital detector. So if you're in the fields, if you're in the woods, you're not, not finding much modern trash as the type of hunting you do, try it to Soro. I'm telling you, they're incredible. Try analog, these newer analog detectors like C-Scope and, uh, oh, um, I'm trying to think of the other, there's another company. I haven't used their detectors yet. Um, Oh, I can't I can't remember it. But there's there there's nothing in the United States right now making analog detectors that I'm aware of. Um Nautilus, he still makes them. Those are really crazy good relic detectors. I used one back in Ohio. Um but anyhow, we'll end it. I'm kind of going on and on. If you're new to the hobby and you plan on doing a lot of relic hunting, <clears throat> you want to get out into the fields where there's the oldest stuff. Iron's the big, the big hurdle to get over. Try an analog detector. Try a Tesoro. They're incredible. Uh, you can f I've I've seen several 
five pin Tesoros go for under a hundred bucks. So they're out there and um, definitely worth having. Just incredible. And I would put them up. I would put my $200 Mojave up against any digital detector out there. And I put it up against almost all of them. I've hunted with these guys and compared targets and stuff. And nobody, everybody is so impressed. They just can't believe it. And it's like, I've been telling you that. Nobody, you know, like they just dismiss it. But uh, anyhow, try it out. Try them out. Uh, if you're wanting to get in the hobby cheap, find a cheap one. If you're a digital user and you hunt those kind of sites, find just $75 one and try it out.